Okay, so just going to start off with our sponsors, the Vivo team, school support company, extracurricular activities and PPA cover. Okay, mouth to mouth resuscitation. No, mouth to mouth London. What do they do? What do they do? What do they do? Media management, sports management, event management, styling, PR, media training, project management, market, marketing. They do everything. Okay, so mouth to mouth London. Don't think their website's up yet though. So they said if they got any, if you got any inquiries, to email us at info at socademics.com. Okay, I'm going to start with a quick story. I'm not going to stay on it too long. But um, it's an argument I've had for many years. I thought, you know, I have to touch on it. Best footballers, apparently, in the news of the world are from north of England. I'm not having that. They don't even tell you how they come up with it, to be honest with you. But I'm assuming it's basically um, they're judging it on the clubs that have bring, brought through their kids, which means it's not the best players, but it's just, you know, clubs give more opportunities up north. Okay. But... This now, which would have been a joke, say, about a year ago, was quite interesting. Look who's got eyes on a deal. And it's about Lucas, uh, Liverpool's Lucas signing a new deal. And um, it's what he says that's very interesting because obviously he was getting ripped for about his performances and how poor he was. But this was quite interesting because it says, um, Liverpool saw me when I scored four goals in nine games in the FIFA Under-21 tournament. My role was different because I played further forward. I joined Liverpool... And I thought I was going to be playing the same position, but it was 100% different. So, shock, Rafa Benitez has done that. But um, also, what happens is, when you come to a different league, like England from Brazilian League, it's completely different. So you're going to need ages to settle anyway. But then to be playing as an attacking midfielder, to then go into a holding role in a league that's 100 miles an hour, like, I mean, it's ridiculous. So it's so understandable, and for some reason, Postiga came to my head. Don't ask me why. There's been many players who have maybe struggled to settle um, in our league, but I just remember when he went to Tottenham, and I mean, I mean, he, he just he didn't really he didn't really kick off there. But you don't become a bad player overnight. I don't care what anybody says. You do not become a bad player. There's always a reason, and I think a lot of managers do not back their players, and I think that's what the problem is. So by backing them, as in, I mean supporting them, maybe not playing them all the time, giving them time to settle. It just doesn't happen. But I'm not going to dig too much in that. I'm probably going to definitely do a blog on that one because I think that's going to be very interesting. Um, I'm going to touch on Champions League. I'm not going to do too much on Arsenal because I've already done the blog on it. I was, I was livid. That's why I, t- I was like, tapping. I was so mad. Um, not because they lost, because it's the greatest team on the planet or in the history of football, but it's how they lost. They went against their philosophy, which they said they, you know, they never do. And it was so negative. And a team like Arsenal, who are, you know, attacking team not to have a shot on goal. I mean, I could probably name all the teams in relegation battle now in the Premier League. And they would have had a shot on goal. Um, but one thing stood out is how scared they were. Because previously when Arsenal used to be wasteful in possession, I used to think, one, it's because they're chasing shadows. And Barcelona will make you chase shadows. Um, so I thought they were tired. Or two, it's their great pressing game. They're the hardest working team I've ever seen, which goes quite, you know, it goes on. I wouldn't even say it's unnoticed anymore because they're starting to get noticed for that. But I mean, it, it gets, un, you know, it gets overshadowed by their great position. Um, but I mean, from the beginning of the game the other day, they were giving the ball away. And it was like, what? And not even just bad passes, their decisions. And I'm thinking, these guys are nervous. And I always thought, you know, in regards to the player, it's a human against a human. But, you know, hey. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a debate. I want you guys to comment in the comments box below. And I'm going to start a new debate. Because this Ronaldo v Messi debate has been going on for ages now. So I'm going to start a new one. Because I think Messi's won that by a long mile as well. So I'm going to know, when can we get to the stage? Okay, don't shoot me. But when can we get to the stage where we say, who's better, Messi or Maradona? Now, I've seen video clips of Maradona, so, um, you know, I know how great he was. I, you know, when I was young and he was, while he was playing, I didn't get to appreciate it for exactly what it was. But I'm seeing Messi, and it's reminding me of all those video clips I'm seeing, 
but he was doing it consistently and he's doing it I mean what what you gotta realise is the time he's doing it because back then players weren't you know they weren't on top of fitness levels they didn't have the training and all the science that's involved now which all these defenders and all these teams and all these strategies and all sports scientists and the list goes on and on and on this everything's organised down to a T and this guy is basically still going and doing his his own thing, whatever he wants to do. He's just destroying teams. So I want to know, um, you know, if you think I'm crazy, put it in there. Say, you know what, you're crazy. If I get a lot of people telling me I'm crazy, I'm going to scrap it. But if I'm going to get people telling me, I'm going to get, you know, mixed messages, or I get some people saying, you know what, maybe we can look at it and say, you know what, you know, who is better, Maradona or Messi? Let me know. Hit in the comments box. Comments, did I say? Comments box below. Tweet me or Facebook fan page with Soccer Demics, whichever one, okay? So you can tweet my personal one, which is underscore Kevin George, or tweet soccerdemics.com. Okay, and I'm off ski. I can find a stop button. Okay, until next time, Gadget. <laughs>